Hello everyone, it's been a while, but I'm ready to jump right back into some uh, easy WordPress development. And I believe in my last video, I finished off with a comment section on um, this Hello World file. If you haven't seen that, you should go ahead and check it out. Um, in this video, I'm going to start taking care of some of the front end stuff that uh, we kind of have hard coded in. For example, the first thing I'm going to do is um, create a dynamic menu for the footer. Uh, separate than the menu from uh, our header and then also we'll get into what these buttons are going to do and pulling categories and post types and whatnot. Um, let's go ahead and dive right in and get started. If you've been following along you have all these files here to the left and you should definitely by now have the functions.php. Now in one of my earlier videos I created this main nav uh, actually in the WordPress dashboard uh, just to show you that you can use the editor to write code in there too. Uh, but for this one, I'm just going to uh, write it in the code directly. And for my next line, right after the uh, main nav, I'm going to create a new menu and call it footer-nav and give it a theme location of uh, footer navigation. Now when I do this, um, if you see, I, let me log into my admin. and I go to my menus uh, I only have one theme location and when I save this functions file which I'll go ahead and do now I save it and I come back to my browser and refresh I now have two theme locations so this means I can put uh, two different menus in two different places in my theme uh, I'm gonna create a new menu really quick and I'll just call it uh, footer, oops, footer navigation and then I'll create it. And in the footer, uh, I'll have the same links. Home, I mean, excuse me, about, contact, blog. And um, I'll go ahead and add, uh, let me see. Let me add another page real quick. Status page, I'll save it. And I'll add a new one. And we'll just call this one uh, privacy policy. And then put in here legal stuff or whatever. And I'll publish that and then back in my menus I'm gonna add that uh, newly created page to my link just so that I can show you that uh, the footer is gonna have a different menu than the main menu I'll go ahead and place that footer nav in the theme location footer navigation and save it and also I'll save it here um, we can go back and visit the site and down here I have these uh, bootstrap nav pills and what I'm going to do now is just make it a dynamic menu. It's really easy. Um, I've got that saved. I need to open up footer.php and down here you can see I have everything kind of hard coded. Um, you may or may not remember when we did the header file and I'll go ahead and open that. Uh, we set up a WP nav menu and um, we need to change the theme location so that it knows to call the right menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, delete this line and then I'm going to put theme underscore location and I'm going to set it to main nav. That's what uh, I declared right here. And then I'll save that. Then I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this whole block. And I'm going to go back to my footer and I'll paste it right here. And then I'll just comment this stuff out in case something goes wrong. Let's see, from my container class, I actually don't want one because I have a span for it. And I could just change that up there if I wanted to, but instead I'm going to put container equal to false. Um, because I want to use this container and for my menu class I'm going to take nav I guess I only need nav dash pills and I'll paste it right there and in my theme location I'm going to change this to footer nav so when I save it and go back uh, you can see these are hard coded and they don't go anywhere let me refresh hopefully it'll work and it won't and what did I forget oh I forgot a comma right here 
Let's save it. Refresh. And it still doesn't work. I don't know what I'm missing. And apparently I'm missing something else. Let me see. On my oh on my header, I forgot the comma right here, so I'll save that. And go back and refresh. And when I click on these, uh, now you can see that it's going to uh, each page. So we set up our dynamic menu, and you can see we have privacy policy down here, and we don't have it up here. Um, in the next video, I think I will cover something on this homepage again. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks.